This is your typical small block Chevy head. It has apparently about 15,000 miles on it since it was rebuilt. The rebuilder put in new seats, replaceable seats in both the intakes and exhausts. He also did the guides and put on extra seals on the guides. You'll notice that this motor had both the original small block sealing system with the o-ring and the cup as well as teflons on the intakes and a bell seal on the exhaust. I disassembled cylinders two and four. Somebody else disassembled six and eight. To, I don't know whether they took them apart beyond this and put them back together or not, but this head is novel in its failure, so I thought I would share it before I did any further disassembly. The intakes are not good, but they would they would fail, but they're not bad. I mean, they're, they're at the limits. But the exhausts, as you can see, are something else. I mean, I've never seen in uh, yeah, exhausts at this level of failure. I'll just pull this, well, maybe I won't. We'll just stop for a sec here. Okay, I cut the seals off. You can probably see the sloppiness there a little better now. There's your exhaust. Notice, I mean, that's got to be at least an eighth of an inch. That's unbelievable. On the other head, I could actually start a 3 8 pilot up the guide. And there's your valve as removed. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. So all the exhausts are in similar condition. All the intakes are still serviceable, if only barely. It's this cylinder. This head has been washed, but this cylinder actually was washed by fuel. Lots of people say it was water that washed the top of the piston on this cylinder, uh, which is what I would have normally thought. But with this horrendous guide failure, I, I'm just kind of thinking that maybe it's something else. I mean, this guide is better than a lot of this exhaust is on the failed cylinder is better than a lot of them holy look at that one <laughs> you almost think there wasn't a guide in there anyway that's there you have it <laughs>